For this lesson, we are talking about dividing whole numbers by fractions. One key term that we need to make sure we understand is the term reciprocal. A reciprocal is simply a flipped fraction where we put the denominator in the numerator and the numerator in the denominator. We see a couple examples here where 1 over 2, the reciprocal for that is 2 over 1. Our denominator moved to our numerator and the numerator moved to our denominator. Another interesting thing for reciprocals is that when you multiply reciprocals, the product will equal 1. So 1 half times by 2 over 1 will equal the number 1. And that will come, in to ha uh, come in handy in future lessons. And the rules that we need to know for this lesson, well, it's that division problems with fractions are not very easy. They're not fun. So you can turn a division problem with fractions into a multiplication problem. And the way you do this is to change it from 5 divided by 2 thirds. Well, you use that fraction, that divisor, and you turn it into its reciprocal. So we would change it to 5 over 1. 5 over 1 is equal to 1. Some people like to multiply with fractions. And so, and then the divisor turned into 3 over 2. And we turned it into a multiplication problem. These problems are equal. Okay? So some of the problems that you're going to see, they might ask you to simply find the reciprocal. And it might look easy to you once you understand it because it frankly is very easy. All you need to do is you need to take that number that they have and you need to put the denominator in the numerator and the numerator in the denominator. So, well, if we do that, if it is uh, 1 ninth, then we're going to get 9 over 1. That's all we have to do. 9 over 1, we could say, well, that equals 9. So the reciprocal, either of those answers is going to work. 9 is the more simplified version. If we go to 3 fifths, well, the reciprocal of 3 fifths, very easy. 5 moves to my numerator, and 3 moves to my denominator. We don't need to simplify that and turn that into a mixed number. Usually when we find reciprocals, we're doing things like multiplying. And so we don't want to have a mixed number because then we will need to turn it back into an improper fraction at the end. Uh, 7, well, 7 could be written as 7 over 1 if we needed to see it in fraction form. So if we need to turn 7 into its reciprocal, that reciprocal is going to be 1 over 7. So any whole number we can remember it, if we wanted it in fraction form, could just be that number over the number 1. And then you could find the reciprocal quite easily from there. Then we're going to have some where we need to do these division problems. Okay, So it says divide, right, in simplest form. But what, like we talked about, division with fractions is not very fun. Okay, It doesn't work that well. Because we could look and we could actually do this. Well, 2, and I'm going to write 2 over 1 divided by 4 over 5. Well, 2 divided by 4, that is 0.5. And 1 divided by 5 is 0.2. Well, guess what? I don't want to deal with decimals in my fractions. So that's one reason that we use this rule. So let's turn it into a multiplication problem. The reciprocal of 4 fifths is 5 over 4, and a division sign turns to a multiplication sign. I can look across and say, all right, are there common factors? Well, 2 and 4 have a common factor. They both have the factor of 2. So this will become, well, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I will end up getting 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 2 is 2. So I'll get 5 over 2. And now, since the instructions say write in simplest form, then we need to write that in simplest form. Well, 2 is going to go into 5 twice. 2 times 2 is 4, so we would have 1 as our remainder, and then our denominator will stay the same. So we would get the answer 2 and 1 half. And we see this here is more difficult, right? 0.5 over 0.2. We don't want to deal with decimals in our fractions. So that's why we use this rule. Over here, we have 4, all right, let's do 4 over 1, divided by 5 ninths. Well, I can turn it into a multiplication problem by finding the reciprocal. I get 9 over 5 as my reciprocal. So I multiply. Well, I could look and see, are there factors 
across, but there are not. 4 and 5 don't have a common factor. 9 and 1. There's no factor that will simplify them. So 4 times 9 is going to get us 36. And 1 times 5 is going to get us 5. 5 goes into 36 7 times. 7 times 5 is 35. So we would have one remainder, and our denominator remains the same. So those are some of the things you need to know when dividing whole numbers by fractions.